In this lecture, we are going to understand how to emit events and handle events with socket.io. Now, socket.io uses event-driven programming approach. Here, client will emit event and server will listen to that event and handle it accordingly. And then the server will also emit an event and that should be handled by the client. Let's try to understand it with a simple use case. So what I want is currently for this client, John Smith is the logged in user. So what I want is from John Smith, I want to send a message and that message should be broadcasted to all other clients by the server. So for example, let's say John Smith sends a message. Hi, server will take that message and it will broadcast that message. It will send that message to all other users, to all other connected clients. Okay. Let's see how we can do that. So for that, let's first go to our front end application to our react application. They are in the home component. I'm going to use use effect and to use this use effect. We also need to import it from react library. Now to this use effect, first of all, we are going to pass a callback function, which will be executed when the home component is rendered for the first time, as well as whenever its dependencies changes. So for that, we are going to specify an array. In this array, currently I'm not specifying anything. That means that this callback function will be executed only once when this home component will be rendered in the web page for the first time. Now from here, from the client, we are going to emit an event. So let me go ahead and let me emit an event. And to emit an event, here we have this socket variable which we have created. On that variable, we have a function called emit. And using this emit function, we can emit an event. So for this function, the first parameter will be the name of the event. Here, we need to specify a user defined event name. So I'm going to call this event as send message all because here, whatever data we are going to send with this event that should be broadcasted to all the connected clients. So I'm going to call it as send message all. Then with this, we are also going to pass some data. Here, I'm going to pass an object. There, I'm going to have a text property. And in that text, I'm going to specify it with a value. Let's simply say hi. Or let's say hi from John. All right. So from the client, we are emitting an event. We are calling that event send message all. And with that event, we are emitting this data, this object. All right, let's save the changes here. Now we are going to listen for this event on server. So let's go to our server code, our Node.js code. There, after the connection is established, I'm going to remove this console.log statement from here. And now here, we are going to listen to that event which the client has emitted. So for that, again, here also we have this socket basically this socket variable on that we are going to use this on method. So using the on method, we can listen to an event and there the first argument will be the event name, which we want to listen to. In this case, the event name is send message all. So it is the same name which we have specified in our client code. From here, we are emitting this event, send message all. And then on the server, we are trying to listen to that event. And whenever that event happens, with that event, we are going to receive the event data. In case of this event, the event data will be this object, right? So this object will be sent with that event. So I'm going to specify a parameter here. Basically here, we are going to specify a callback function. That callback function is going to receive that data as an argument. So in this data variable, we are going to receive the event data. And for now, let me simply go ahead and let me log that data. And that should be it. Let's save the changes. Now, keep in mind that this event here, it will be raised when this home component is rendered for the first time because we are emitting this event when this callback function will be called. And as I said, this callback function will be called when this home component will be rendered in the web page for the first time. Let's save the changes here as well. And let's go to our terminal. So here you can see 
our application is running on port number 5000 the db connection is successful but you will not see that message here because as i said that message will be displayed only when this send message event will be raised from the client now this send message event will be raised when this home component will be rendered for the first time so if i go to our application and there if i refresh the page it is going to re-render the home home component and when the home component is re-rendered this you know this function has been called and from there we have emitted this send message all event and since there is a live connection between client and the server the server will know about this event and when that event has happened the send message all event has happened it should log the event data which we have received with the event so now if i go to the terminal there you will also see that object logged so this is the event data which we are passing from the client right so in this way event happened on the client and the server responded to that event by handling that event and how it is handling that event by logging the event data in this terminal all right now in our server code instead of logging this data what we want is we want to send this data to all the connected clients okay so for that what we are going to do is from here we are going to emit another event okay so instead of logging the data here we are going to send that data to all the clients and to send that data to all the clients for that also we are going to emit an event so now from the server we are going to emit an event and for that on the socket again we have this emit method using which we can emit an event let's specify a name for this event let's call it send message by server you can name it anything i'm just trying to give it a meaningful name and when this event happens we want to send some data so here let's say i want to send some string data and in the string data let's say message from server and then here we are going to use that data basically this data and from there we are going to extract the text property value and that we want to send in the response so here we are emitting this event and the client is going to listen to this event okay and the client is going to get this data when that event will happen so basically here when this send message all event is being handled by the server while handling that event it is raising another event and now we want to handle this event on our client so let's go ahead and let's save the changes in our server code let's go back to our client code and there inside this use effect only let's go ahead and let's handle that event so again on this socket to listen to the event we are going to use on method let's specify the event name here which we want to listen to and handle so i'm going to copy the event name from here which is send message by server let's specify it here and when this event happens again here also on the client also we are going to receive the event data let's simply call it as data you can name it anything so in this data we are going to receive the event data and for this event you know this event is being raised by the server so for this event the server is sending us this string data so that we are going to receive in this data variable inside this react application and there let's simply go ahead and let's log that data that's it so here i simply want to explain you how socket io works basically it uses event driven approach now if i save the changes the server is going to send that data the server is going to send this data to all the connected clients okay so now if i go to our application let me open console here let's clear everything here and if i refresh the page 
you can see this message message from server hi from john let's go to edge so this is also the connected client it is connected to our server there also let me open developer console and there also you will see that message message from server hi from john so currently server is broadcasting this message to all the clients whenever it is raising this event okay but in our case when we are developing a real-time chat application when user a sends a message to user b that message should only go to user b not to any other users so there we want to be specific to which clients we want to send the data so that is also one thing and that we are going to learn in our next lecture in this lecture i wanted to show you how we can send data from server to all the connected clients but in the next lecture we will learn how we can send data from the server to only a specific client okay so let me go ahead and let me remove this code from here we will use it in our next lecture let me save the changes here and from the client also from here i am going to remove these two lines where we are emitting an event and we are also listening to an event let's save the changes so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day